these objects kind of represent our knowledge of God, the more you go through life, you probably collect more knowledge of God or more experience with God. Maybe this little bucket represents your life. And, you know, each year you kind of gain more knowledge and more experience with God and you put it in and you think to yourself, man, I'm gaining a lot. I'm growing. I'm learning all sorts of things about God. It's just filling up. But the reality is no matter how much we gain in life, no matter how much of our experience and our knowledge of God grows, at the end of the day, at the end of our lives, maybe our bucket is half full. And the knowledge of God represented by blocks would fill up from floor to ceiling a room like this chock full. And what we know is about like this. Meaning God is so huge. He is so vast. There is so much to him. Sometimes when we're young, we're in this place like, I I know a lot. I've learned a lot. I've gained a lot of knowledge of God. But the more and more we follow him, the more we experience of him, and the more we reflect on that experience, it's natural to come to the conclusion, I don't know God. And all there is to know about him, like I think I do. Isaiah says in Isaiah 55, God speaking this through Isaiah, my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. They're they're more vast. And sometimes that can be like awe-inspiring. Sometimes that can be really frustrating. It can be really challenging because sometimes it's like, God, I think I have you figured out. But I don't have you figured out. 